Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Stephanie May Soma here, and today on this exciting episode, I have someone very special. He is a music producer, he's an artist, he's literally everything in the music industry. So, Gabby, introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Gabby. I'm a studio with Gabby Records, also a music producer, artist, and talent manager. So Gabby, how did I even meet you? I think it was faculty. So for this story, Gabby's faculty is like my faculty. He's in um, environmental science, but me I'm in management science, but I'm always there. So that's literally how I met Gabby. And I've known him since 100 level. I didn't even know you were into music. That I went into music in the Yeah, I signed with you. I signed with you as Wow, SS1. Can you tell us a little backstory about your music career? Um, I signed music on SS1. SS1 and SS2. Yeah. Started rapping class. Though the the whole um, the whole music movement was like I was surrounded with a lot, whole lot of people making music. My uncle was also an artist. In class, we all just like drum and sing. <laughs> yeah, we just the cash crews and make vibe. So my uncle would rest in peace, my soul rest in peace. So yeah, when he was doing music, so I used to like look at them. I got more inspirations from him and all. So he used to tell me about music and also I know little and my, and my grandpa. Then, oh, your grandpa was into music. Too. No, not that he was into music. He used to play some old tapes, the Vita Waifu, Ebenezer Bay and a few others. So I used to like listen to the music. I love music a lot. So always checking things out about me, even when I don't have a phone. So I grew up that that craving and passion about me right from when I was so so that's how my music life started. So what of when you entered uni how did you break into that music? And you didn't know anybody now. How did you do it? Hmm. Doing music here in Uber was very hard because I remember when I came in like even before the strike and all before entry, like I was trying, I was searching for like producers here in Benin City. Before I like, I could come. I was See, searching for before you entered. Before I entered, well, like, I was trying to like look for people. So it was really hard because you're trying to reach out to people with no evidence. Nobody <laughs> did, exactly. So everybody could just do. So I was trying to reach out people you like. Um, don't worry, when you come, when you come, and last, last one, when I come, not to stay up. Not to stay up, and so, I'm just trying to like look for people, and I respect them a lot. I used to like try and reach out to them, tell them that I love music and all. So it wasn't that I will not get money that time, I will not get money to do anything. So, exactly, so I'm just trying to push, and the little I have started recording. So that was how I started here. Yeah. So for my faculty, you started like pushing music with my own team. FG, FG is there at the background. He knows, he knows. He just went over, <laughs> over square. <laughs> he knows a lot about all this movement. So it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Yeah. Okay, so Gabby, can you like tell us anything funny that has happened throughout <laughs> your time doing music? I guess um, when I was trying to like promote one of my songs, that was Cho Cho. Cho Cho for the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So like, we used to like do those cards and all, like, trying to like, content, create content and all, everywhere, all this, everywhere and all. So it wasn't easy, like, people used to look, used to look at us like, ah. What are these guys doing now with this postcard? Seeing Cho Cho everywhere, like, exactly. So they're just trying to push the the, um, the single out there. So that was one of the funniest thing I had. Okay, so I remember in hundred level when you used to do music. I just knew that you used to do music, though. or like uh, other people were doing music too. But you were just like pushing your music every time, like constantly back to back, like no break. 
And I remember seeing you in Electro. I think you performed that. You performed in Electro. The performance was nice. But so you tell us like your most trying moment as an artist and a producer. Yeah, I was trying to tell us. <laughs> so many trying times. Yeah, I feel cry. <laughs> See, there was no support. There was no support, like yeah. at all. I mean, no support, like family. Ooh, Even the friends sometimes they turn back at you because you you are so dedicated. So sometimes you need their attention, like you need them to do something for you, and you just like you maybe I don't know, but I get what you're saying. I so like. Just the support, nobody was What was it like? Tell us your funniest Sapa story. Oh no! <laughs> Sapa moments and Sapa always hates you. Like, I'm this kind of person, even when I don't have money, I try like pay up for my studio sessions and all. Try like also up to pay sessions. So, mm -hmm. even I have no eating, mm -hmm. I would try and like, I was always at the studio making music so i've been around the music circle so i know i know how it feels it's not easy music requires a lot of money mm, so to push, it. to push so even out of my savings and all i try like to try and pay up bills i still who i still produce that but i still try and settle them okay this is what i have this is what i have you understand so the sapper moment no is you. You go hit you to the essence, you go say she make her quit. <laughs> and even school school said no even the help. Was so, there ever a time that you were like, oh you know, and person like this is going to steal something? See I almost like I almost said, okay, let me quit music, let me focus on school. It was that bad. <laughs> yes, it was very bad. It's what happened is that you won't go to to that point. It's just it's just that there was no money like to push some certain things it's like that yeah, were necessary yeah, for like, yeah, exactly. Just the media like to show yourself and like I mean when I mean show yourself I mean your content to create content. You need a whole lot of money to create content and a whole lot of money for something. So there was nothing. I was just making music but there was not was enough saying. money to like so and I said okay, even the school said they on the own. The results were not even helping and so what am I doing? There's no evidence of what I'm doing, so So when did things turn around for you? Like what was that moment? Can you remember? I remember when I got my equipment, yeah. So I just I just had this I had I had these ideas for a very long time. I was hustling I was hustling when I was in Lagos like I used to like go to studios invite artists and they get paid from the sh like from the court say i get my own court that's what i do like okay, I was, you invite artists and they yeah, get yeah, someone's studio yeah 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 so like i bring artists in so i have this puzzling what if somebody comes you don't come pay <laughs> no no you don't understand like somebody come like i was doing like i was managing the studio oh. studio manager oh, yeah. for this um, studio so i was like inviting artists when they have sessions, invite them, then they pay me my court. You understand me? You know how you event is stressful and oh me say by the filler guy. Okay? Right. Class is back to back and your faculty is very yeah. serious. How are you juggling school and doing music and also excelling at both of them? You just just need to like plan your time. Like <laughs> it's not easy like to try and arrange our time like I work with time a lot so from the morning till the afternoon class just like early afternoon like try and go for time and then I come back and make music and people book sessions so I make music till then in the night I have my time for myself. So sometimes people like book sessions in the night and all but I just try and get get that time routine. You understand me? So you book in the night, you just do it or yeah, yeah. sometimes you want it. The thing is that if you book in the night, I'm always active. Anything comes to music. Anything that comes to music, I don't use music and play. 
honestly, like, if you tell me that, okay, I want you to be in this space today, party, be it party or anywhere, I'll surely pull up for you. Even my last car, that's how, how bad it is. Like, how dedicated. Yeah, very dedicated. Like, that was really nice. Yeah. yeah, I I love I love networking too. So yeah, I love networking. I don't just go to parties and do the normal the normal idea on the normal things people. So I go there and observe and look for new creatives and all people that I feel okay. They are they are solid materials. Understand? So yeah, not for only my brand, just to like to have an idea of what they do and also learn. So I learn every day. Any space I am, I learn every day. So that's it. So I wanted to ask you something. Like, What actually inspired you to start this whole music thing? <laughs> when um, the people that inspired me, Donja is doing it. I see Donja is doing great things and he's helping people. So I've ever like me making music is not just making music. I'm here to impart a whole lot to young dreams, you understand? So Don Jazzy has been a major mentor in the game. Then I have gospel on the beat. Gospel they have it sound and all. So like those are people like major inspiration. Yes, that I see that they are really putting it by like making impact. And there are few people like few people that has has this um they call them plug engines. They help artists a whole lot. Plug engines. Yeah, they call plug engines. Like they are A and arrows, they are oh. they are low key promoters. As a team. Uh, yeah. We have Pankuli, we have Depa, we have a whole lot of people. So they they've been my major inspiration in the community. Oh. Yeah. But who is your favorite artist? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love whiskey, man. <laughs> okay, so you're a fan of the whiskey, yes. Me, yeah. I'm on the face. <laughs> I think Bonner Boy for me, sure. Bonner Boy. Yeah, I, I like his music, I don't like him. Mm, you don't like him? I don't like him. I love his music. I like them, too. I like them. I like them. Okay, so Gabby, um, so my viewers that want to get into music that are just entering, can you give them solid advice? Please, they need it. <laughs> yeah, for you out there, I want you to like believe in your dreams. Don't ever give up. Don't ever. Show the evidence. <laughs> so you don't go explain tire. Yeah, so you don't go explain tire when you give up. That's just the truth. Like, Always create. How how like how often do you create your content? Like how often do you promote yourself? How often do you network? You understand? Money is never always always everything. It's not ever it's, not, it's never enough to like you guys put in the work. Work on yourself. Work on everything. You have to be on point because the music space is so hard now, very hard. And, People are growing up every day with different ideas. And people are coming in every day. Yes, yeah, people are coming in every day. So I feel we should like put more efforts and work, work. Everything needs to be perfect. That's that's what we have to say. So basically, they should just put in effort, yeah. network, never give up, always create content. Maybe on what to talk about that. If you wake up, you post. So you be the first thing that they will see. You yeah. guys should do that, please. So Gabby, um, tell us your Instagram handles so they can check your music out. You can check me on Instagram. Check my business page on Instagram. Gabby Records. Gabby underscore Records. Then. Can check my music page, Gabby Season, and you all check my my song on your platform, Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Audio Mac, YouTube, whatever. Check my name, Gabby, on your platform, and stream my songs. If you watch to this point, thank you so much. I love you all. Mwah. Like, subscribe, share to everybody, all your family members. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye!